video, video clip. Video clip. <laughs> video clip. <laughs> Hello there, lovers. This video is a special, and I mean real special, collaboration video with American Sexual Health Association for their Yes Means Test campaign. And when they reached out to me to collab, I was like, yo, we have to do something special, something big, because less than 12% of young people get tested for sexually transmitted infections and diseases every single year, even though we account for majority of the reported cases. So I was like, hey, how do we get young people talking and excited about their sexual health and nothing says excitement like a party so I wanted to throw one but the thing is my friends are sick and tired of me talking about this to them so I thought what better thing to do than to reach out to you guys and to find one of my lovers out there who is that friend in their group the friend that all the homies go to talk about their relationships and their sex lives with let me find that friend in LA and have her throw a party for eight of her closest friends and Brittany reached out and she was perfect Hi, Shannon. Hey. Good to see you. Stay. You look incredible. Thanks. Okay, come sit. Let's talk and plan. Okay, so when I put the call out there, when I was like, who is that friend in their group? Why did you say me? Because it is, like, it is me. I always invite people over to my house and, like, it'll just be like a random Friday night and I'll send out, like, a group text and people will come over and then we'll just put questions in the box and everyone in there gets to, like, write questions and we'll have a discussion. So it's just natural for me to, like, bring them now, but to have a topic, like, a talk about a specific topic. What kind of questions are in the box? It really just depends on the group. So like we make different questions each time, but some of the questions have been like, what's the most embarrassing moment you've had? Or like, who do you want to kiss in the room? All right, so we're about to throw a sexual health party. Does that sound yes. crazy to you? It's crazy fun. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, open. Wow, <laughs> oh my gosh. You like it? Yes. It's intimate, it's cute. I like, it's I like the balloon. Everything is fine. I love cute little game though over there in the corner. Yes. So I want you to still put some finishing touches on it because it's okay. your friends. I want it to be really feel like your party. Okay. Uh, but first and foremost, let's put together their loot bags. All right. They're gonna enjoy this. All right. So we're gonna go to yesmeanstest.org. Okay. And so here they have a bunch of stats, information on how to get tested, but more importantly. They let you put in your zip code so you can find out where you can get tested. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, did your friends text you back? They did. All right, they so we're did. gonna get together a list for each of them to put in okay. their loot bag at the end of the different places they can get tested. So okay. let's get to work. I want to encourage you all to go get tested and then to go out and like talk to your friends as well and encourage other people to get tested too. All right, this is the most commonly reported STD in the US. 15 to 24 year olds making up almost two thirds of all cases. Oh. Nope, yeah. it's chlamydia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> everyone so we're gonna play a question game just like we do normally at my house but instead it's gonna be on sexual health hey. so get ready, ready. All, right, all, right, all, right. all right do you ask about your partner's sexual health records you know I'm sad to admit that I don't and I probably should more often mm. it's not that I've never had the conversation but I don't bring it up as often as I should mm. does anybody ask I, asked I do one time to, well not one time in my life but I asked this guy <laughs> one time 
And I think I talked to you about it after because he never talked to me again. I think it could be startling because just because I think like people when they ask about it, it's because it's something wrong. But it's that's the problem. I feel like it, it's a normal conversation. Right. That's what we got to change like, the conversation. Yeah, it's something not like a positive thing. Yeah, right. We're trying to uplift each other's health and right. maintain that, not accuse anybody of anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So and that's why we find should. out that we have something. Exactly. That we don't want. That's yeah. why it's shocking because we, you know. Yeah. Don't talk about it until it's too late. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, if we're going to continuously be doing this, I just mm-hmm. want to make sure I'm good. I mean, at this place in my life where now I'm like turning 25, I mean, before I didn't, I would just kind of do it. And mm-hmm. it was just a feeling until mm-hmm. I, I had a really crazy scare. I started having really crazy symptoms. Um, after that, I was like, yeah, I, I maybe if I did start a new relationship, I should I should for sure go get tested with him just to make sure it's good for her. If you were to tell somebody... You know, what is it like to get tested? What would you tell them? Do it sooner than mm-hmm. later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, to just think about all the positives that come out of that before thinking about anything negative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you always feel so great afterwards. Yeah. yeah, you don't feel like you're thinking too much about, like, oh, I wonder if I have something. And, like, mm-hmm. you have all this anxiety about, like, not knowing, you know. Yeah. So it's better to just do it. To me, the anxiety or, like, the possibility of having, like, the symptoms, mm-hmm. the sores, the mm-hmm. all of that yeah, itchiness, that's way more Google. painful than a little prick <laughs> on my finger yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right? <laughs> 1.5 million cases of chlamydia are reported each year for people 18 and 25. Have you ever had chlamydia or known somebody who has? Yes, I've had chlamydia. Um, if you haven't, oh yeah, one too? I've had it before. Shout out, hey! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> I just, this has never happened before that I've done this. Every time I go out to speak somewhere, I'm like, who here loves orgasms? And everyone's like, hey. I'm like, who yeah. here loves great sex? I'm like, hey, who's had chlamydia? And everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah. afterwards, someone's like, my finger was up. You didn't see it, but like my toe was up. <laughs> um, but yeah, and if it wasn't for getting tested, I wouldn't have known. If you don't get treated for chlamydia, you're at risk for infertility, for pelvic oh, inflammatory yes. disease. Oh and I had no symptoms. Like there was nothing. And then I learned that like, Half of women have zero symptoms at all, mm-hmm. close to 80%. So I think testing was, when it probably saved my life or my unborn child's mm-hmm. life. So Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was yeah. snaps for testing. Yes. It was pretty much the same for me. Not my partner, but it was somebody I was seeing. I kind of knew he was um, promiscuous. <laughs> he told me when I got into a new relationship. And mm-hmm. thankfully, we, didn't had, we hadn't had sex yet, so... I didn't pass it or anything. Oh, was it my yeah, real time? Yeah, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your chlamydia story? Chlamydia close. Chlamydia close. Oh, wow. So she gave it to me through her. She had it in her mouth and gave it to your yeah. penis. Yeah. <laughs> Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's even weird. People don't even realize that that yeah. chlamydia yeah. can be transmitted. Yeah. 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 Did your parents talk to you about sexual health? Absolutely not. No. Not one word. Not really. No. Nothing. And not health. Not sex. Not nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. Yeah. No. No. My parents. No. My mom's idea of talking about sex was don't do it. <laughs> she was just like no. So how are people supposed to know where to get tested if no one talks to them about sexual health? Like. Um, good question. I mean, yeah, there's um, HIV testing commercials, and then sometimes you see billboards, billboards and everywhere now. Now, like, oh, yeah, there's that now. now. But the, the stat <laughs> is that less than 12% of young people get tested every single year. Mm-hmm. So, like, what is not being done enough of? Like, why are people not getting tested? From my experiences, it's like you only really go when there's a problem. Like, mm-hmm. when if you've got some funny discharge or like whatever, whatever for guys as well Mm -hmm. but i i personally feel like anybody having sex should be getting tested the fact that there's a possibility that you might have something that that shit is scary scary. yeah you know so if you i don't know it's kind of like okay well if you have something you can cure it and that's the upside too is that there's no such thing as like a failed test because even if you have a positive now you can get treatment Mm -hmm. right you can share with other partners because like i would hate to be the partner who transmitted to somebody else like there's no such thing as a fail you're always going to come out of there stronger healthier and just able to make better choices for yourself and for other people right right one in two people will get an std by 25 does that surprise you no. Yeah. Not at all. That doesn't surprise me at all, though, for no. sure. Because, yeah. I mean, if people are afraid One, to two. go get tested, I feel like it's kind of a thing of, like, damn, I, I probably have a lot of unprotected sex. I probably shouldn't go get tested. Yeah. And that's just a thought, but that's an action, and that, that ends up being the reason why people are passing it to each other, because mm-hmm. they're not getting tested, and nobody's asking. African-American women 
are five times more likely to get chlamydia. How can we reverse this step? Hmm. Just by getting tested, I think. Because they're bringing up the fact that it's African American women. It also brings up the fact of how much power and how much openness happens in African American relationships as mm, well. Right. You know, being able to have that type of conversation. Like like I said, when I had that conversation with somebody, he was white. And that was fine. Mm -hmm. I brought up that conversation with black guys plenty of times and mm -hmm. yes. I get mm -hmm. yes. the anger, the aggression, yes. and it's mm -hmm. like, why are you so mad? You know what really opened my eyes from even today is like hearing how people's parents did not ever talk to them about sexual health. Mm -hmm. So I think letting someone know like younger than you or in your community like here are the clinics that are close to you mm -hmm. because you may have no idea because saying get getting tested is one thing but like where does one go to get that done yeah yeah, yeah. that's true yeah. me and Brittany actually yeah. did some printouts for you guys and all of our loot bags at the end oh, of different yeah. clinics that are close to you <laughs> so you can pass it on or keep it for yourself but i think everyone should definitely know where to go that's mm -hmm. a big part of the problem because you can have an idea of what sexual health is supposed to be but if you have no idea where to go or who to talk to or where to get that done or what happens when you mm -hmm. go to get it done it can feel like too far away or too inaccessible if you're like going out on the weekend like there's a dope party and there's like oh you know you're single and you know you're probably gonna meet somebody it's like on friday after work just mm -hmm. go go get tested just to make sure you're good and then you can go to that party knowing you're free but it's on the way to the party, party actually yeah, yeah. 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 and a lot of women <laughs> don't carry condoms and men I'm actually don't have to. That. I'm gonna start doing that. That's and it's crazy because I have some of my, I mean, I'm, I'm in a relationship, I but I have some of my purse, so if you want some. But I got <laughs> it for my HIV testing, and I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, anybody that I see at a party, like, I actually went up to this, um, this girl and this guy, and um, she was really drunk, and he was really drunk, and you could tell they just met, and they were kind of, you know, and I was like, you know, I just kind of gave it to him, and I was like, you might want this. He's like, oh, thank you, I wasn't, I wasn't about to use it. And she was like, me either. Wow. So I was like, wow. Ooh, you came wow. through for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much for being yeah, here and so fun. Yeah. sharing your experiences. You were all more than ready to go out into the world <laughs> and advocate for sexual health and yes. know where to go get tested. Yes. yes. So, well, thank you for having this open forum for all of us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Okay, yeah, get I want to thank Brittany. Um, in Shambuti for this. It was beautiful. I really loved having the conversation. And one thing I would take away is how much we exoticize sex. And we don't talk about getting tested and we don't talk about the risks or we don't talk about preventative measures. So I would throw this for my little cousins to talk about it, um, let them know that sex is okay, but there are ways that you can protect yourself because there are risks. And um, I learned all these new stats and ways of contracting that I had never known before. I learned today that one in two people will get an STD by the age of 25. Each year, there are 3.7 million new cases of chlamydia and gonorrhea. I really hope people leave here today more confident to have talks about sexual health. Mm -hmm. Whether it be testing or disclosing information or asking information, um, asking for information, I just want them to all be uh, confident enough to have that conversation. Well, I really hope that everybody goes to yesmeanstest.org to find out where their local clinic is, to get stats and information, to get an amazing entry point for a conversation. And speaking of which, if you could have a conversation like this with your group of friends that you know would be down, go in the info box below. I'll put all the party planning tips so you can throw the identical party yes. that Brittany threw. Probably not identical, but yeah. you know. Ours was pretty good. Ours was pretty good. <laughs> so go in the info box below, and of course you can still find information on Brittany and all of her friends and more on Yes Means Test. So go and check them out right now. I get it, girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it, girl. Uh, yeah, 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 I get it, girl. Uh, 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 oh. And if you don't know, get it, girl. Uh, 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 oh.